Diuretics part two. So loop diuretics have the suffix "-ide". So this means all the diuretics which are standing with the "-ide, ide, ide", are your loop diuretics. These loop diuretics and also the thiazide diuretics are also called as potassium wasting. This means they let the potassium go out of the body. And you guys know when the potassium is going outside of the body, patient is at risk for developing hypokalemia good job so if the level goes less than 3.5 you have to watch the patient for cardiac dysrhythmias second important thing which is tested in NCLEX whenever you guys are giving specifically this medication IV as a push don't give it too fast you want to give it slow because sometimes if you give it too fast it can cause autotoxicity and sometimes permanent hearing damage now let's just review about spironolactone. Spironolactone works opposite of Lasix, so it holds the potassium in. As a result, your patient is at risk for hyperkalemia. So if you see the level going more than five, you want to keep the eye on patient's cardiac rhythm. And then you also want to tell the patient to avoid food high in potassium. Banana, avocado, oranges, potato chips, green leafy vegetables, all those are high in potassium. So patient need to avoid that. Number three, no potassium pill for this patient. Number four, you have to keep the kidney function in the mind. And also remember, no salt substitutes because salt substitutes are potassium. That's all for diuretics. Stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube for more videos.